Welcome to One on One, the Daily Item's weekly digital program featuring Susquehanna Valley newsmakers interviewed by Daily Item reporters. Today we have Steve Stumbris, the director of the Bucknell University Small Business Development Center, interviewed by Eric Shikitano. Do new car prices scare you? Then you haven't been to Sunbury Motors Kia. Sunbury Motors Kia takes the scariness out of new car shopping with 20 new 2018 Kias under 20 grand. Welcome to the Daily Items one-on-one. I'm Eric Shikitano. Our guest today is Steve Stumbris, director of the Bucknell University Small Business Development Center. Steve, thank you for being with us today. Thanks for the invitation, Eric. So, Pleasure to be here. for the uninitiated, yep. can you give us a little overview of what the SBDC does? Sure. Well, we have a ton of acronyms in our area, as we do everywhere, but the SBDC, very importantly, is the Bucknell University Small Business Development Center. And what we do and who we are is a resource for the entrepreneurs and small business owners of the Valley. And about how many clients do you serve a year? We engage about 200 clients, and a client of our program is an entrepreneur who is seeking to start a business and also the small business owners of existing businesses. Uh, we help them in a variety of ways. Uh, at the very start, for entrepreneurs who have an idea or maybe have started to develop a business plan mm-hmm. and are just taking those early, early steps, it is about education. It is about workshops that touch on developing a plan and then launching your business. Um, and as in, in doing that education, do you ever f- hear an idea where you're just like, okay, the door's that way? <laughs> <laughs> um, some of my experience at the, at the SBDC is uh, engaging with individuals who want to bring a new product to market. And at times, uh, we have done some very preliminary research and found that there's something already matching that on right. the market. So at times, yes, it is. We help with that research, just broadening someone's awareness of um, what their competition is going to be. And if that competition is coincidentally exactly what they're proposing, uh, that can arrest uh, 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 their their steps forward and divert them to, okay, what's their next idea? And let's, let's help them build that. So when it comes to the clients who approach the SBDC, more specifically, mm-hmm. what are the services available to, say, an existing customer? An existing business. Sure. Uh, well, of course, the education is there for both uh, entrepreneurs who are just getting a start and for existing business owners. Uh, the workshops that we present, uh, highly relevant for business owners, include topics such as human resource management, um, the ever-changing target of how do you get your message out on social media, uh, so marketing topics and marketing strategies. Uh, those are things that we address every day, every week, and throughout the year through programming for the business community. Um, but the real uh, effort of the SBDC is consulting. We will meet with uh, one-on-one, an entrepreneur or that owner of a business, and devise a consulting engagement that lets us get to know what their goals are, what their capabilities are, and identify gaps in their capacity to conduct their business or grow their business. Uh, We'll do research. We'll present them information about, say, uh, industry trends that are affecting them, uh, down to very local issues, such as the demographics of the neighborhood that a retail store or restaurant is operating in. Mm -hmm. And then our team, and this is me, and our consulting team, and the student consultants who we uh, who work with us from Bucknell University is devise strategies that the, the client implements to grow their business. That consulting is what we're doing on a daily basis, we're meeting them in their place of business, bringing them to our, um, our consulting offices in downtown Lewisburg and throughout six counties in central Pennsylvania, uh, and building that relationship what is the commitment a, for, for a client, say, who's doing a startup? Um, yeah. 
what is the cost? Like, like what do they have to do to get in the, in the door at SBDC, and, and what is the commitment? Here's the really, truly amazing thing about the SBDC program is that because of the support that we have from Pennsylvania's Department of Community and Economic Development, um, the United States Small Business Administration and Bucknell University as an investor in the community, the consulting services are provided to our clients at no fee. Wow. So that's an easy yeah. an easy sell. That must be uh, really good to hear for, for some of the people that you encounter. Yeah. Importantly in that, it's not free services because, because of the support uh, that uh, our program has from those funding stakeholders. Um, it's, it's something that we are able to provide as a service to the community. So absolutely, individuals who are looking for education, who want to be successful here in the region uh, in owning their own business and uh, have the other understanding of the work it's going to take to be successful in business, they should absolutely come and seek the assistance of the SBDC. And we're here to help. Part of that assistance is raising capital. Yes. Um, the critical the part of that assistance. The lifeblood of every business, the so, cash flow. Yeah. Uh, you had mentioned before uh, that you average, well, the SBDC averages about 10 million annually in raising uh, capital for clients. Uh, clients raising, clients securing funding is a critical measure of their success. You're guiding the clients to secure that funding. Yes. So Tell me more. We are not a source of funding for our clients, we're a source of education and consulting. Uh, we're, we're that trusted advisor and also, in part, a cheerleader. We're encouraging them to take those steps forward, um, but taking those steps forward that are based upon a solid foundation. Um, every business needs to secure capital, uh, whether they're starting or they're seeking to grow, or it's someone uh, who is seeking to acquire an existing business. And that's, that's a really interesting subset of our clientele, mm -hmm. is individuals, perhaps serial entrepreneurs, uh, or an existing business owner who is seeking to expand by acquiring uh, an area business. Uh, we're here as a resource for them. But especially in that case, it takes uh, their work with a bank, most typically, um, to put together, to be well prepared for that loan application. Um, they need to develop a relationship with their lender. Uh, the SBDC can help that individual be better prepared to approach a bank. Um, and we'll also, for clients who may not have a relationship with the bank, who may not have a bankable business yet, uh, we'll help them explore uh, diverse funding sources. Um, so some early stage, say, product developer, developers uh, or artists uh, or um, designers may look at a crowdfunding campaign. And many, many startup businesses are the first place that they're going to turn is to their friends, their family, to their own personal resources to put together that first um, very personal investment in their own business. But the outside investor, uh, how to approach, um, say, a, a, a professional investor, uh, what type of pitch, yeah. what type of materials you need to put together and how you're communicating your financial projections for your business is something that we will coach a client through. Do you find that that um, capital investment part is kind of the breaking point for a lot of the relationships yeah. at SPDC? It, like it, that's kind of where they is. continue, right? I mean, that's go, no go. If you don't have the money to buy that building, if you don't have the money uh, to make the payroll, um, that is that is the decision point where the it is where the rubber hits the road for the for the business owner. Um, how much how much of your role is encouraging <clears throat> clients to kind of stick with it and, and you know not to take one no for an answer? It it's there's a lot of encouragement. Absolutely, the a client needs to know that we we're there to turn to. Uh, they're sharing their aspirations, the the highs that they're they're going through, as well as the lows. Um, but they always need to understand, and this, this is important in any consultant's line of work, the decision maker is the client. We're not going to tell them to, to make this particular move for their business yeah. or to sign this contract. We're going to help them understand um, in, in really frank terms what are the financial, um, the legal implications of the steps that they're taking. 
and give them the information that they need so that they can make the best decisions that they can. We'll be, up, we'll be back with more with Steve Stumbrus. Choose from 2018 Kia Forte, Souls, Rios, and Optimas. Kia is the home of America's best value. The 2019 Kia models will be rolling in. And Sunbury Motors Kia needs to move the 2018s now. All include Kia's 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. New car shopping? <laughs> Don't be scared. Come to Sunbury Motors Kia. Welcome back to One on One. We're here with Steve Stumbrus, director of the Bucknell University Small Business Development Center. Steve, you had mentioned uh, about 200 clients a year. Mm -hmm. What's the split? How many of them on average are new? How mm -hmm. many of them on average are existing? It's about half and half. Uh, about half of our clients are existing business owners. And these are businesses, I'd, I'd mentioned six counties throughout central PA. So of course, uh, Northumberland and Snyder, Union County, uh, Union County where we're hosted in, in Lewisburg, uh, but Montour, Perry, and Juniata counties. Can you tell us a few? Uh, and so in, it, as, as I walk downtown Lewisburg, uh, we can stop in any number of restaurants, um, Bull Run Tap House and Siam uh, Restaurant and Bar are a couple uh, recent clients. Um, and, Braden at Bull Run acquired that long-standing, uh, well-known business. Yeah. And Poi, probably about five years ago, started working with us as she started up. Um, her Thai restaurant. And beyond the service industry, what are some other existing clients that you've worked with? Uh, you out over in um, Montour County, another one, another acquisition was Crest Haven Farm Market. And the, the, the two guys who purchased that, again, uh, a, a business that had been part of the community for a couple generations. Yeah. Um, it's a familiar name. Right. Now, where they've taken it is they've expanded the business hours. They've brought in uh, some new partnerships with local ag producers to really uh, expand and diversify the types of products, especially with a focus on local products, local, locally produced products that are on the shelves at their farm market. Uh, so they, they've been really uh, uh, happy with their decision to yeah. purchase a business and bring their own style and bring their own um, new innovations. When it comes to the new clients, how many of them end up successfully launching? Uh, each year, it's about, about half of our clients are pre-venture. That is an entrepreneur or an entrepreneurial-minded individual who is somewhere in the stages of, I have an idea to... I have a solid plan, a location, maybe even a website already designed. Yeah. And of those, about a third of them actually start their own business. So each year, and this goes, goes back a, a good number of years, about 30 new businesses um, are Great. started in the region uh, with the help of the Bucknell SBDC. And of course, some of them stick around. Some of them are successful. And you have several success stories to tell. Some, some of the longest, one of the longest uh, term clients of the SBDC, we had a chance to celebrate in a very special way uh, two years ago. Uh, and this is local manufacturer, local ag, uh, harvester, agricultural products, uh, pick rights. Yes, yeah. Um, so Elvin Stoltz. Elvin, he was the small business person of the year right, in Pennsylvania. So it was a great way to recognize uh, not just Elvin's leadership for that company, uh, but the company as a part of the community for, um, well, for about 30 years uh, since their founding. And they had been a client, Elvin in particular, had been a client of the SBDC since the mid-90s. This goes back, uh, in fact, to him and uh, early members of Pickwright interacting with uh, some of the founding team of the Bucknell SBDC. Yeah. Um, it founded... Uh, in 1978, uh, out of the efforts of a mechanical engineering professor, uh, Charlie Coder, uh, was the first director of the Bucknell SBDC. Um, throughout the years, the services have grown. Uh, but an interesting thing about it is uh, what Charlie brought to it was a connection with engineering. So product development, and a good example, of course, is Pickwright. Some of their product development has brought them uh, into interaction with engineering students and faculty and classes at Bucknell over the years. What I find interesting about Pickwright and others is I think sometimes we can lose sight of our role in the global economy. Like Pick Pickwright mm -hmm. is a, 
a global provider of, of its equipment. Absolutely. Uh, they, at the time that we nominated them uh, and Elvin to be a small business person of the year for Pennsylvania, uh, and, and still today, uh, an exporter to 26 countries throughout the world. So Speaking of global, another client, Gameball. Gameball is uh, impossible. also a, a product innovator. So you think of Elvin as a, as a, as a farmer, inventor, uh, and extremely successful business person. Um, but product development and product innovation is a theme that uh, traces through the years. Uh, the Game Ball is, is really one of the newest and most exciting products. Uh, so you've had a chance to chat with Kevin Langdon. Yes. Um, uh, you know, makes his home in Milton, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Uh, works uh, often with the SVDC and out of locations in downtown Lewisburg. Uh, also is connected with Bucknell in a number of really fun ways. The product, the Game Ball, is now in Apple stores throughout North America and Europe and working on cracking into markets in Asia as well. And the game ball itself is, is a ball? With... Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a play ball. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's a ball. I it, said the most obvious thing. Of it, course, and we're, we're here. It has <laughs> the coolest technology built into it. So the sensors, accelerometers, and everything else that you might find in a smartphone tracking distance uh, and it is built into the ball and it communicates with a gaming system so essentially the ball is the the gaming controller or joystick uh if you're old school uh, gamer <laughs> um yeah. for uh an array of really fun and engaging games for people of all ages and it's measuring velocity it's it's measuring impact yeah, and so rotation. some of the games uh they're party style games they're also athletic competition games uh such as how fast how high how much spin can you throw the ball with and uh, the, the ways that he and, and the developers that, that are on his team uh, work to create really fun, really engaging games uh, for kids and for families is, uh, has been great, great to see. And uh, you did mention about strolling down uh, Main Street in Lewisburg, yeah. Pandaway. It's another. Yeah, um, not that long ago we helped uh, uh, Eddie and Yulong uh, celebrate the opening of Pandaly Grocery in Delhi uh, with a ribbon cutting. So joined by members of uh, the chambers, Greater Susquehanna Valley, Central PA Chamber, uh, and local elected officials all came together to celebrate uh, what they're bringing, these, these new entrepreneurs for our community, uh, to the uh, downtown. And it ranges from their takeaway Chinese food to grocery products, um, dumplings, uh, dim sum ingredients, bubble tea, and more that um, you could never find in downtown Lewisburg. We love, I mean, we love working with small business owners in any number of industries and topics, but especially someone who is bringing a new idea to a marketplace. Um, those are the innovators who really excite me and, and really uh, make the SBDC um, a great place to be. Well, you're always looking for innovators. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so potential new clients or existing uh, businesses who are looking to work with SBDC, how do they get a hold of you? Uh, very easy to find us online through uh, any number of your favorite social media platforms, but the Bucknell SBDC website is bucknell.edu slash SBDC. Uh, you can find us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Bucknell SBDC. And um, at any of those uh, places, you can find what's the next upcoming event, uh, such as tomorrow's HR workshop, the next week's uh, Instagram and social media workshop. And at that website, anyone can ask for help. And if they show up? You're going to give them one of those water bottles you brought with us. Today. <laughs> I've got about and if you don't six have of any, these left. If you don't and, uh, have any, he'll give you his own. This, this, <laughs> this celebrates the 40th anniversary of the SBDC, 1978 to 40 2018. Years. We, and we look forward to many, well, many thanks more Thanks to Charlie decades Coder and Bucknell service. University. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and thank you all for watching, Steve. It was great to have you in today. Thanks, Eric. Take care. Thanks for watching One on One. Be sure to tune in next week for another edition.